How is this for a compliment from Jesus? He said, Among those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Now that's some compliment. John was a straight talker. He told King Herod he had no right to take his brother's wife. Now the new Mrs. Herod was not pleased at hearing this and were told that she bore a grudge against John and wanted to kill him. However, we're told this, Herod feared John and protected him, knowing him to be a righteous and a holy man. When Herod heard John, he was greatly puzzled, and yet he liked to listen to him. On Herod's birthday, he threw a banquet for all of us, his officials, his army commanders, and the people of society. And the daughter of Herodias pleased him so much that he made a statement, I will give you up to half my kingdom. She didn't know what to ask for, so she went and spoke to her mother. And her mother says, ask for the head of John the Baptist on a platter. We're told this, when Herod heard this, he was greatly distressed. But because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he did not want to refuse her. He immediately sent an executioner with orders to bring John's head, and he did. Though Herod feared John, regarded him as a righteous and holy man, and liked to listen to him, why then did he have him executed? You see, Herod didn't want to lose face before his guests. He didn't want to back down. That would be a sign of weakness. So in order to maintain his reputation, he had an innocent man murdered. Do you know what I find amazing with this story? Is the fact that Herod liked to listen to John, yet the message John shared with him never touched his heart. It never penetrated his soul. And Herod continued to be an adulterer and a murderer. Today, people listen to the word of God. They like it, they enjoy it but they do nothing about it. Their lives remain unchanged. They hear the gospel. They don't confess that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. They don't put their faith in Jesus and be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Why? Because the Word of God is not taking root in their hearts. We would all do very well to pay attention to two scriptures. The Apostle James says this in his epistle, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves, but do what it says. And Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and yet not do what I say? You can hear the word of God and do absolutely nothing about it, just like Herod. <laughs>